Alright, good afternoon. As you can see, we're on the banks of the Trent. Cheers. Uh, lovely place to stick floating. Something I've been doing for many a year. Uh, but we're still to get on the river that to do any this year because of floods, terrible temperatures. Just two or three hours of fishing for a bread punch, bread plate, feeding ground bait. I've got three or four ones down at the moment, I've not had any bites yet. But we've, we're on a swim that's got a bit of a back water because the keep that's going the opposite way. Um, the flow really 10 or 15 foot from the bank for it actually flows to my left. Hoping to pick up chub, rope. What I've done, I've left a, one or two shots off the float, leaving it standing a bit bad out to pick it up on camera for a part of it. Well, I can see a bite if I've got one, but... No bite is it. This is a good fish. If I had to have a guess what it was, I'd say it'd be a chub. It's actually going upstream. We don't get many going upstream. I wonder if we've got a pike that's grabbed our roach. It was a heavy fish. I've got a three and a half pound line on and I've got a 16 wide gate hook on. I think it's a big chub. And it's a good chub as well, a proper one. Yeah. It is. Get in! Whew. Not bad for the first fish. <laughs> first bite, first fish. Look at 
that for a jump. Spectacular. Just look at that. Absolutely fantastic. That might even be pushing five. We're going to weigh that in a bit. Put him in the net for now. See if you've got anything here. Great granddad's down there. Not a chub this time. There's a nice rope there. Probably about eight hands. Absolutely beautiful. Big rich red fins on it. Not a mark on it. No sign of an otter's head out of it. Absolutely beautiful. Just punching bread, six or seven mil that piece, hooking it through, so squeezing it quite firm on on the hook side, leaving it a bit fluffier on the on the bottom side. So he's on for two or three casts. I'm laying the rigging. You see that. I'm laying the two bolts and the bedding all, making sure I just mend the line just before it hits the, the float hits the surface and straighten it all out. Just missed a bite on the previous previous put in. A lot closer up the swim, which is a promising sign, so might be coming up to the feeder a little bit. It's even got milder now, lovely. Definitely the warmest day of, win of the winter so far. <laughs> Feels more like May than February. We'll get ever closer to the tree, which I'm trying to avoid. This little nugget that's got hemp and tears in it. Liquidised bread. We didn't quite see that earlier on. The float, it's a six bees, the Peter, Peter Drennan with a, it's got a shoulder on it and quite a pointy, pointy top that stands proud of the water so it's very visible. And because it's six BB it's quite heavy can really hold back against it and control how the, uh, the bait presents itself in front of the fish. Well, I'll just show you. We've got 4BB bulk, about 4 feet from the hook. 
and I've got five number eight just above the trace. You might not be able to see that. I can alter those five number eight, spread out and shirt button tile and control the control the bait in the water that way. Gives me lots of options. We have a third fish. He's a little roach. It took some time, <laughs> but we got it in the end. Right, it's about quarter past four now, we are losing the light a little bit. We are breaking the cloud. Um, lovely to have a bit of stick float trotting on a, on a nice mild February afternoon, on a Sunday afternoon. It's been absolutely gorgeous. Not enough for bites really, but we had that absolutely fantastic chub. Had a real, a real proper chub as well. Lovely to catch on the stick float, really nice. Great fight. Great scrap that, that ship did. Going slightly upstream as well. Really good. So two, two and a quarter hours fishing on a Sunday afternoon. A couple of roach and an absolutely monster of a chub. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please remember to subscribe. Uh, give it a thumbs up. We'll have a couple more casts. Probably just one or two more casts. And then we'll have a quick look at what we've caught. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> we'll be back to eight or ten ounces. It's a nice fish. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Look how thick it is. How long it is? It's for two foot long. Huge mouth on it. Look at that. On a piece of a uh, bread punch. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely worth coming out there. Sunday afternoon for that. <laughs> right, just a quick summing up then. It's uh, it's been awesome to get the uh, stick float out on the river again. The river's not quite down yet. It's still chocolatey, and you've still got all the flood water and snow melt and road salt all coming through. So to get, I think I've had six bites, um, two roach. I even missed a bite on the very last put in. I said I had one more last cast. Didn't work this week, but I did miss a bite on that. And uh, but to catch that chub. £4.6 uh, in February, 
in the natural environment on the, on the awesome River Trent has uh, made it a great afternoon. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So it's only short on this week, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe and uh, hope the channel grow. And uh, speak to you soon. What a spectacular fish. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Look at that. Let's pull him back. Yeah. Get in.